Billy, they say the top of the funnel is dead, right? They do. But frankly, they've been saying that about many things in marketing for the past 20 years. Email marketing is dead, the website is dead, whatever. What's different now? Well, you know this small thing called ChatGPT? Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Well, let me tell you this. ChatGPT didn't actually kill top of the funnel content. It just put the last nail in basically the coffin. Uh, because there is just so much crap content around, people aren't reading it. People are just literally letting it flow by and die its own natural sad, sad death. Also, buyer behaviors have changed, right? So 10 years ago, we were still convincing companies that, you know, creating a blog is a good thing. Uh, now, nobody questions that, but there are so many blogs out there. There is also the company website, and there are so many different channels for the company that are competing for people's attention. But in addition to that, people are going to their friends, they're going to networking events, they're going, going to, to G2, G yeah, Captera, all of these referral sites. So by the time they get to checking out your website, your blog, your top of the funnel content, it's basically like they've already done so much of their research that you know your top of the funnel content is no longer relevant to them. So basically it's our job as marketers to create that really essential middle and bottom of the funnel content that people are still seeking after they've done some of the research and it's like to bring, you know, bring in that sale or bring in that conversion for the marketers really. Plus Google loves it. Google adores it. You will be with Google. So for example, how do you get to the really good content that people are really, really aching for? One really good way of doing that is asking your sales team for the top 10 frequently asked questions that they get asked in every demo or the follow-up sales call after that. 